Um, Jason loves Should I do it, do it like formally? No, Good me. afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jason Marsh. Boys and girls. Um, Tom. Jason. Um, I notice your, the bike that you're working on. Whose bike's that? Luca Shaw. So you're Luca Shaw's mechanic? I am. I notice his bike has a little wheel on the back and a big wheel on the front. Mm. Can you explain to me why he's done that? Because I don't understand. Well, he tried it because my, if we have the option to try it, we might as well try it. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't try it, you don't know. So that's why he tried it. And then when he tried it, he quite liked it. Hmm. So that's why he's still running it. And then do you think, uh, why, why do you think he liked it? Does, what, how does it change the bike? He said it feels easier to ride and he feels more comfortable on it. Hmm. And if you... I d you can have the best setup bike in the world, but if the rider isn't comfortable, then they won't go particularly so, quickly. So he feels more comfortable riding with a smaller back wheel? Yeah, he says that it's a lot easier to turn, mm -hmm. which kind of makes sense, I guess. Um, he says that if he, the 29er is great if you're on like, if you ride your perfect line and don't mess up, then the 29 is great because it, you know, it carries around, but if you a halfway around a turn and the rut's moved or there's a rock, a rock in a different place, then the smaller back wheel makes it easier to adjust mid, mid run or sure. mid turn, adapt. I know Greg doesn't want to try it. I, just trying to think of why he wouldn't want to try it. That's like, uh, um, he's, he's a little bit taller. I noticed a lot last year with the guys riding a 29 back uh, wheel, they had uh, skid marks mm. on their shorts a lot. And I wonder if the, a, a shorter rider would actually benefit more from the mullet bike. That's what I always thought too. Rider. I always thought that. And uh, in Loris's case, I think that's what's going on. Yeah, because it gives you a bit more clearance there, doesn't it? But Luca said he never particularly buzzed his bum anyway. Hmm. So Luca's how how tall's Luca? Is he yeah. like six foot? Yeah, -ish. I don't know. Yeah, well, well he's riding an extra large frame, so he's not small. I reckon he's six foot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Six foot ish. Hmm. Then then Greg's he's like probably in between Loris and Greg, really, isn't he? Greg's like six three. Mm. I don't know why we're talking in feet and inches. But it's like, yeah, that's... 180. Yeah. 18. 185. 185, yeah. So, yeah, so the Greg's like uh, 80 millimetres taller, mm. potentially, than... So, I don't know, maybe they're extra... Greg's 80. got long legs as well, and yeah. he? he's all legs. So, yeah, having the, having the longer legs might just give you a bit more clearance over the back wheel. Mm. Um, obviously, it's lighter. The mullet back wheel's lighter, isn't it? So you get better rotational mm. speed for it. But then, it, is it like uh, less of a flywheel? So... It's well, I think that's it. It doesn't. If you break in a turn, it, it's not going to stand you up. You're not going to have the. What's the word for mass that's rotating? Inertia. Inertia. It's going to be different, isn't it? Yeah. So, so it kind of kind of makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, I, I just uh, don't. Uh, yeah, well, Greg. Greg doesn't want to try it. So. Well, two weeks ago, we were on the 29er, and uh, all was well and happy, but. If the option's there, we'd be daft not to try the, the mm. smaller bike wheel. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And well, Luca actually said, when we were discussing trying it, he said, well, you know, my riding style suits the 29er. I don't think it'll work, but, you know, got to tick every box and try it. And then he tried it and liked it. Oh. Happens all the, I think people maybe have prejudiced opinions on it, but then he, the proof's to try it, really, isn't it? Mm. If you don't like it, you just stick to what you've got. Just put it on and see if he notices. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we've got a wheel. I'm, I, I haven't built a wheel up for it no, yet. No, I've so. got a spare wheel. I'll oh, lend you one. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it's like far, it'll be faster in a straight line. Um, you know, in the, the the parts of the track that you're going fastest, like for Le, in, in Leger, for example, the top section of the track with the bigger wheels, you will go faster with 
bigger with a bigger back wheel I think and the, and the fastest part of the track is where you make up the most time because you're traveling the most distance you know when you're doing like 40 k's an hour you're doing 11 meters a second but if you're doing like 40 43 k's an hour so you can get that little bit of extra speed you're going to do a few more meters every second so you're going to make up the, you make up the most time on the fastest part of the tracks not on the corners I think so uh, it's hard to tell without doing without going to a World Cup and doing a doing doing a full run I think also like like last year having a smaller back wheel on the bike where we had the 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 forks the the offset on the forks was quite long um, so having a smaller back wheel on the bike you could have got quite an advantage but now with the new Fox fork having the offset back you're not going to get well it's just it's it's, it's just going to be a faster fork I think the bike's going to be faster so yeah it's hard to tell it's hard to tell wasn't it really mm. I mean do you do you roll down a road and measure what the top speed gets I up think to or straight line rolling down a road the full 29 would definitely be faster hmm. but we don't roll down roads do we so, no um we actually did time we timed the top half of a track which was the kind of bit where the 29er would we thought would be way better and uh, of a three run average it was within 0.4 of a second which hmm. is 10 places in at some races but that's in you know in one day on that on that bike so 29er did multiple runs on the sort of normal setup and then went back with the 27.5 on a different day admittedly but it's a track that doesn't change yeah and the times are really close but it, I don't think that's enough really to say it's faster or it's slower you know when we first went to the 29er and we got went to San Romolo and we had Loris riding the bike and we he was on 27.5 he did two runs on 27.5 and then swapped to 29 and we had the timing system out and he got back after the first run on the 29 and went no that's horrible it's uncomfortable i can't ride it mm. and then it's just like okay cool let's have a look at the time and he was four seconds quicker mm. and he goes no i don't don't believe it there's a problem with the timing because the bike just didn't feel nice i couldn't throw it around and then he went back to his 27.5 and he was four seconds slower and then he went back to 29 and he was four seconds quicker so it's just you know the feeling of a comfort on a bike doesn't Bricks, necessarily yeah. relate to speed does it mm, no exactly pick this up later